Welcome to EBI SQL e Invoice Sharing. We proudly invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the Ambassadors and Speakers of SQL Accounting Software. He is a CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share a series of Q&A about e Invoice to all of you. If you are first time watching this video, please watch our previous video so that you can get the better understanding of e Invoice. Under the e-invoice, I understand that there are something called consolidated e-invoice. Can you explain more about this? Normally, when we're doing e-invoice, if you are doing business to business B2B or B2G, business to government, normally what you do is just issue a normal e-invoice and send for validation by HTN, then send to your customer. But under certain circumstances, especially when you deal with business to consumer, B2C, your customer may not need the e-invoice as a proof of expenses for tax relief purposes. Then LHDN allowed you to issue consolidated e-invoice. Basically, imagine you are selling vegetable in the market. Your customer mainly is auntie. So when they do not need your invoice for tax purposes, LHDN still allowed you to issue receipt or normal invoice to your customer. But what you need to do is for all the invoice or receipt that you issue out, you need to consolidate them into one e-invoice that need to send for validation by HDN within the seven days for next month. Imagine now it's January 2026. You already have 10 normal receipts you issue out to your customer before 7 of February 2026. Then you need to issue an consolidated e-invoice and send to LSDN for validation. Meaning that at the point of transaction, you do not require to issue an e-invoice, but you need to consolidate all this information and prepare another things called consolidated e-invoice for approval. May I know what particular industries need to issue consolidated e-invoice comparing to normal e-invoice? Now, as I mentioned, e-invoicing two purposes. First, proof of income. Another thing is proof of expenses. So if your industry are dealing with people or customer that do not require your e-invoice as proof of expenses, then you can use consolidated e-invoice. Take an example. If you are using a post system, point of sale system, your customer maybe mainly will be normal right yet instead of business where they do not require your invoice or e-invoice as a proof of expenses, then you will tend to do consolidated e-invoice compared with normal e-invoice. That's why you need to make sure your post system and not only ready for e-invoicing, but also ready for consolidated e-invoice. With that, any particular industry are not allowed to issue consolidated e-invoice? Yes, there are few industries that are not allowed to issue consolidated e-invoice they must issue normal e-invoice that required all the information by the customer. Automotive, aviation, luxury goods and jewelry, construction, wholesaler and retailer for construction material, license betting and gaming, and also payment to agency, dealer or distributors. All these are not allowed to issue consolidated e-invoice. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, Ryan. Stay Thank tuned you. for our next video. Bye.